Hi, I'm James Sirwicki, and I'd like to invite you to my new class, Five Things I've Learned About How to Write About Ideas. So I've been a journalist for almost 30 years now, and in that time, I've written for a wide range of publications, from The Atlantic to The New York Times to Wired to The New York Review of Books. I was the business columnist for The New Yorker for many years. I've written documentary films. I've written for TV. And on top of being a writer, I also edit nonfiction for the Yale Review, and I, and I teach it at Yale University. So I've spent a lot of my life uh, thinking about and doing nonfiction. And the one thing that almost all the work I've done, both on the writing and editing side, has had in common is that almost all the pieces that I've worked on and that I've written have in some sense been about ideas. That is to say that they all kind of had an idea at their heart, an argument or a thesis that I was interested in exploring and developing and interrogating. And so that's what this class is gonna be about. It's gonna be about how do you write about ideas, not in an academic or stuffy way, but in a way that's engaging and compelling uh, even for people who don't necessarily know very much about what you're writing about. And how can you, to use a phrase that you hear a lot, how can you both enlighten and entertain? So what does it mean to say we're going to talk about how to write about ideas? Well, the way I think about it is that if traditional journalism is about who, what, where, when, uh, journalism of ideas or the nonfiction of ideas is about the question why. And what does it mean? It's about looking at sort of the deeper causes of human behavior or of stories. It's about interrogating the concepts that shape us. Uh, it's about using insights from other disciplines uh, in order to explain seemingly simple but actually quite complex aspects of everyday life. Uh, at its best, the journalism of ideas is incredibly fresh. It can be exciting. It can also be rigorous. Uh, and it's the kind of thing that readers can walk away from and feel as if, oh, now I can see the world in a different way. So what will you learn from the class? Um, well, uh, it'll be a little bit of a soup to nuts. We're, we'll start by thinking about a very simple question. How do you come up with ideas? What's the best way to find new things to think about? What are resources you can use to do that? And then we'll dig into the craft of writing. We'll look at things like, you know, the leads of pieces, the way pieces begin. How do you craft a, a punchy lead that will hook readers and, and keep them reading? We'll look at structure. How do you build a satisfying arc? Um, one that allows you to tell a complicated story, perhaps, uh, while still retaining a, a clear through line, either a narrative through line or a conceptual through line, so that when you get to the end of the story, which ideally your end will be punchy and satisfying, uh, the reader really feels as if they've gone on a, on a really satisfying uh, learning experience. Uh, we'll also talk about common challenges that you run into when writing, um, especially when writing about ideas and, and how to solve those challenges. And I'll talk about being edited uh, and about being willing and able to revise. Uh, that's obviously a really important part of writing. And uh, it's something I've done on both sides, both as a writer and as an editor. So just talk about that experience. What's it like? What can you expect? I, I think what's cool about the journalism of ideas and, and why this class will be fun and interesting is that it's, it's such a wide and capacious genre. It you know, includes a wide range of styles. It allows you to use lots of different sort of formal strategies to, to get, get what you want done, done. And of course, it lets you write about a incredibly wide range of topics. You know, so if the classic piece about ideas is an op-ed or maybe a piece of cultural criticism, the reality is memoirs, profiles, narrative essays, uh, short essays like the ones I wrote for The New Yorker are also exceptionally good vehicles for writing about ideas. And one of the things we'll do in the class is look at the work of great writers who have done exactly that. They've written about ideas in really interesting and unusual ways. We'll, you know, look at excerpts of from people like Michael Lewis and Leslie Jameson, Tennessee Coates, Susan Sontag, and by reading them, I think you'll get a sense of the the wide pot sense of possibility that the journalism of ideas really offers. Now, I think that the class will will give you a few things as a result. One is 
that'll help you become a better reader. It'll just make you appreciate and understand the strategies and techniques that writers use. So when you read, I think you'll get more out of what you read. Uh, in some ways, it may help you be a better idea generator. It'll help you just think harder about, oh, how can I come up with new ideas? How does it come up with something interesting to say? And then the most important thing, of course, is that it'll help you become a better writer. Uh, it'll help you get better at bringing the ideas you have to life. And it'll help you, I think, get better at connecting the ideas you have to the tools you use to actually bring them to the reader. And the truth is, if you want to be a professional writer, if you are a professional writer, this will help. I, I also think if you just want to write better Facebook posts, um, this will also help in that regard. Because, you know, the skill of being able to write about ideas is a really rich and wide ranging one. And so I hope you'll join me for the class, five things I've learned about how to write about ideas.